Okay, now Google is launching the Pixel 9 series and before the launch, we already have the brand new weather application from Google, which can be downloaded or sideloaded with an APK. Now this weather application is really amazing. This is a much better version of the previous weather applications we have seen. We also have Samsung weather application. Let me just quickly compare that as well. Before I go ahead and show you the brand new weather application from Google, I request you guys to subscribe to the channel. More than 80% of you guys who watch my contents are not subscribed yet. If you subscribe, you get to learn a lot about your phone. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Now let's go ahead. This is the brand new icon, the weather app icon we have got here. This is the Google weather app. Let me just press and hold on this and show you the version number here. As you can see, the version starts with 1.0.2024 and it ends with 62058. Now I have installed this application from apkmirror.com. I'm going to show you exactly how you can install it. I'll also leave a link for that in the description. Now let me open the application here. Now you see, I have already added a couple of locations here. This is my current location and I have added London and New York as well. And if you want to add another location, all you need to do is just tap on plus and search for the location that you want to add. Now let me open my location here. You see it's a beautifully designed layout and it's very simple, very easy to understand the weather conditions. On the top we have got the current weather in this big bold font. It says 26 degrees Celsius and mostly cloudy and it feels like 28 degrees, high is 30 degrees and low is 21 degrees Celsius. Now, right below that we have got hourly forecast. You see we can just swipe towards the right or left or we can scroll through this to see the hourly forecast here and then you see we have got 10 day forecast here. Again, I can uh, swipe towards the right. Uh, you can see uh, it is showing me the precipitation and right below that you see we have got these beautiful looking tiles which shows these information. We have got wind speed, UV index, humidity, sunrise and sunset, visibility and pressure. Now the best part about these tiles is we can just press and hold on a particular tile and reposition this. I can place it anywhere I want. I can't bring all the way to the top. I will have to place within this area here. You see we have got six tiles here. I can place it towards the left or right or towards the bottom. I can uh, interchange these tiles here, which is fantastic. Depending on your preference, you can place these tiles here. So the layout is very simple and it looks actually pretty cool. Now let me go back. Let's select London. You see it is showing me 19 degrees Celsius, high is 32, low is 14 and we have got similar tiles here as well. And we have got one additional tile here which talks about the air quality as well. And maybe we should be able to customize this once we get the full version on the Pixel phones as well as on the Play Store, we should be able to uh, add some more information here. Now let's go to New York. You see we have got similar layout here and uh, we have got the uh, air quality index as well here. Now another point to note here is this will adopt the material U theming as well. Now since I'm using this on the Galaxy phones, I tried uh, changing the color palettes but it is not adapting to that. But on the Pixel phones, this application, this weather app should be able to uh, get the color palettes as and when you change the color palette theming on your Pixel phone. Now let me just quickly show you the previous version of the weather application which we have. This is uh, the Pixel 6a I have here. Let me increase the brightness level here a bit. Now let me open the weather here. Now this is the previous version and this is the current version. You see both look actually good. Let me know which one do you prefer. I'll just scroll down here. You see we got 10 day forecast. Uh, it is in this entire list here and we have to scroll towards the right here so it saves some space. And when I scroll down, you see we have got all these tiles here. These are all square or rectangle shaped tiles, but here we've got pixel themed tiles here. Now on the previous version, actually the information is all the way down here. Whereas on the current version, you just swipe up, you will get to see everything that you need. But here you have to swipe all the way down here for uh, all these tiles if you want to see. So it's kind of cool on the new version. I kind of like the new version here compared to the previous version. You let me know which one do you prefer. Now let me show you how you can install the APK. Uh, I have left a link in the description. You can just go ahead and open that link. You will be uh, landing on this particular page. Now all you need to do is just scroll down. You will see the download option right here. Just tap on download APK. It's about 9.51 MB size and uh, it will ask you some permission. You can tap on download anyways. Now this will be downloaded at your own risk because uh, this is not an official version of this application. We are sideloading this from apkmirror.com and apkmirror.com is one of the trustworthy website from where we can sideload the APKs. So you can go ahead and try this out. Now the file has been downloaded. Let me open the uh, quick panel here. Let me open the notification. This is where you can see the downloaded uh, app. I will tap on this. Now you'll have to allow the unknown application installation on your phone. Just go to the settings and enable this toggle allow from uh, this source. 
on the pixel phones once it is done you have to go to the uh, files application and open the downloaded file again on uh, the samsung galaxy phones it will uh, get installed uh, instantly so there is no issue with that now let me go to the uh, files application here is the downloaded file i'll tap on this again it says do you want to update this application tap on update now whether it's installed i'll open the application here you see i'll just have to log in i'll use my account to log in uh, to this weather application tap on allow and this is where you can see the current location and the other uh, locations that you have selected. I'll tap on uh, while using the application for uh, the location uh, axis. You see, we have got the new weather application with this beautiful looking interface on the Pixel phone as well. Now let's quickly compare this all new weather application with the Samsung weather app. Let me open the weather app here. This is the Google weather app. Let me open the weather application on the Samsung Galaxy phones. Let me open this. Now you see this is how they look now in my opinion the new weather application on the pixel phones is going to look beautiful now on samsung weather application the information is cluttered everywhere as you can see here and even the background doesn't look that great the tiles are completely blending with the background here which doesn't look good whereas on the pixels uh, new application the new weather app the tiles are in dark mode and the background is in a different color which makes these tiles pop out here and uh, the information is crystal clear with bold font so i would definitely prefer prefer the all new UI on the uh, Pixels uh, weather application. But you guys let me know what do you think. Uh, do you prefer the Samsung's weather app or the Pixels weather app? Drop a comment and let me know. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you are interested in this particular wallpaper here, you can go ahead and check the link in the description and download it. I've already shared this wallpaper in yesterday's video. Uh, every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper so you can check out all my previous videos and download them. And uh, if you're interested in these widgets, uh, I have left a link for that also in the description. In fact, I have left two links one is for one ui kwgt pack and the other one is for miui 14 kwgt pack you can go ahead and download them uh, you need to be a kwgt pro user a pro app user to install all these premium uh, widgets so keep that in mind uh, that's about it i hope you have already subscribed to the channel i request you to subscribe because like i mentioned a lot of you are watching the content but not subscribed yet so you're going to learn a lot about your phone go ahead subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye Thank you.